Oh, they're retreating. They're retreating. Let's kill them all. Yeah, nobody's gonna make it out alive. This is just a massacre. This was a bloodbath. Salutations viewers and welcome back to my video gaming channel. My name is Gene and today you guys are here with me for the 30th episode of Let's Play Faces of War. Uh, in the previous episode we have begun uh, the first mission in the Soviet sub-campaign called Great Battles. We have finished this mission. This mission was called Silo Station. Um, I could describe this mission as a fairly challenging one because I managed to lose my entire Spetsnaz squad within a time span of I would say like 10 to 15 minutes all of them were dead killed in combat and I only had one soldier remaining a regular Red Army trooper that turned out to be not so regular at all because I think he was some kind of a cyborg or some kind of a android because he took sniper rifle shots to the head he took flat cannon shots to the chest even like just like a gun explosions you know those big cannons those like not not the smaller flat cannon but rather those big like 88 millimeter cannons he took that shit and he survived he got smacked in the teeth with the buttstock of a sniper rifle, some German tried to go like, you know, in hand-to-hand, toe-to-toe combat against him. But ultimately, he failed, he couldn't kill him. Anyway, I hope that comrade, that Red Army soldier, I hope he got some kind of a, a very big medal, you know. And um, in today's episode, we're just gonna continue. We're gonna continue by choosing uh, the flank assault mission instead of, you know, because obviously we finished Silo Station. I was just, you know, I had my mouse on, on like, on, on the on the mission for a long time. And, you know, some of you might think, Gene, why the fuck aren't you skipping to this already? You know, like, enough is enough. Anyway, so we're going to listen to our protagonist, what he has to say. Um, we're going to read the mission description. Then we're going to hear out what the protagonist has to say. Not this guy with the Russian... Uh, pilotka cap on his head but rather this guy this grim looking fella with the you know with the helmet he's the protagonist of the second sub campaign great battles anyway enough like my my introduction is is taking forever let's read this and then let's listen and let's play we've got a new order the group is to approach the flank of german defense and to wig them the guys from the tank company have been preparing their machines all day long I hope to meet them soon at the battlefield. The war is coming to an end, and our special group has more and more things to do. We had barely dealt with a silo issue when a new order followed. We were to disturb the enemy's defense at height 158. Once finished, the main forces can start their attack and wipe the Germans off the defense lines. I'm not too good at strategy, to be honest, but I realize that if we strike with full force, the tank men will have a much easier time of it. That's why they saw us off as if we were their family, trying to cheer us up as much as possible. One lieutenant even gave me a handful of superb German tobacco. May God bless you, he told me. Once this is over, we'll smoke to celebrate our victory together. I hope they will celebrate that victory together, because if they don't, the Germans are gonna take away the tobacco again from their fucking corpses and now it's gonna be not once trophy tobacco but twice taken back and forth you know between the German dead soldiers and the Soviet soldiers this tobacco just keeps going back and forth so anyway I hope we're gonna win this mission we're not gonna fuck up uh, we can see some of that cool looking art again on the loading screen and we have a briefing we got our new order. The group is to approach the flank of German defense and to wig them. The guys from the tank company have been preparing. I think it says the same shit that it said on the, you know, on the main menu screen. So I don't know why they just repeated the whole description. All right, we're getting ambushed. All right, comrades, get out of the fucking armored vehicle. Yeah, th this looks like some kind of a lousy ass attack because... 
they could have already destroyed all of our units if this would have been a proper ambush. I don't know what my soldiers are doing. I I'm trying to shoot, but these guys are just being retarded. All right, guys, settle down, settle down, settle down. Use your firearms, don't, you know, there's no need to, to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat here. But let's try to destroy this thing. Apparently, it's not destroyable like that. Just use the, you, no. Okay, my soldier died, but not before blowing up that half-track, the smithereens. What is this thing doing? It's it's okay. So this vehicle, like the guys in that BA11 or BA10, how it's called, they're they're being just completely retarded. Like not only did they not destroy this thing when they should have with that you know little tank cannon they have, they're also they also shot this thing. Now we got you, boy. We've been chasing him a dozen kilometers. This is Major Kruger, one of the battalion commanders in the regiment holding the line here. He says there's an ammunition supply depot for the units arriving. You need to double check this information, and if it's confirmed, you must destroy the supply depot. You've got your order, soldiers. Meanwhile, I'll take him to headquarters for further interrogation. All right, so we lost one soldier unfortunately this guy he died like a true hero because his goddamn rifle was useless that you know anti-material rifle couldn't really uh deal with that light half-track armor but we're still gonna take that weapon just in case right we're gonna take that anti-material rifle and we're gonna keep going we gotta go this way to this i guess german occupied village Okay, so we have a sniper under our command. We'll yeah, we're gonna give it to them good for sure. We have a rifleman that for some reason doesn't have his most loaded. Load your shit. Okay, don't go so close. There's like 80 guns there. Are you... <laughs> Those guys are... I don't know. I think they're fucking just... They're drunk or something. This is the worst crew ever. Look, they're missing all of their shots. And and even when they don't miss, they don't kill anybody. Finally. Look at this goddamn gun. Mind you, this is this this is not the difficult a level setting. We're playing on arcade. I'm fuck it, I'm just gonna use AP shells instead. How much people need to be in this thing? I have like two, maybe it's like undermanned or something? Because it feels very, like, it responds very slowly, this vehicle. Okay, they have a sniper over there. Let's try to snipe the sniper. Good job. I don't know what this thing is all about. So it fires, basically this thing is firing 45 millimeter shells and it's not destroying this half track. Finally, there we go. Thank you. Okay, how much guys can be in this vehicle? Maybe like it's undermanned, like I've said. Yeah, I think it might be undermanned. I think in Faces of War it doesn't say how much guys can be in a vehicle. Okay, so three people. I guess it was undermanned. Okay, all right, this thing is just outright empty. So, oh wait, we have two soldiers here though, in this vehicle. Okay, so, look, look, no. Come on, man. Take that... Stationary MG, we're gonna be using it. Okay, I think... This guy has, um... This guy actually has, uh, body armor. So let's do this. Let's just give him the heavy MG. He's gonna be our Rambo. We're gonna give him the heavy machine gun. All right, 
Equip that shit, and you're gonna be the main person that's gonna be attacking. Okay, you two, don't go. Just stay, stay. Stay with the squad, guys. Take it easy. There's no need to... To attack just yet. Right, so we have to neutralize the AT guns, right, before we can advance, because these things are gonna rip that B-11 to, sh to fucking shreds, and, um... Okay, do this. The second guy's alive? How? Oh, wait, there, there was no second guy, only one soldier was... was, I guess, supposedly manning the AT gun. Oh, they're retreating. They're retreating. Let's kill them all. Yeah, nobody's gonna make it out alive. This is just a massacre. This was a bloodbath. This was a bloodbath, and I assume you could consider this to be war crimes. Anywho, um... So this village seems to be more or less clear. Let's advance with the infantry. We still have, a, I guess, like an MG emplacement, but we can take that out. In fact, we can even drive drive over that shit with the with this lousy vehicle that we have. All right, he was smart and he left the machine gun, but we still killed him. Okay, so. What do we have to do? We have to blow up the storage, right? All right. It's not blowing up. We just... I, I guess we had to drive over. Wow, what a we just had to drive over that shit. Whoa! That's insane. Well done. The supply depot's been destroyed. The whole army will come running here when they hear the noise. Get ready for the German attack, men. Okay, so We've gotten rid of it. Take your positions quickly. Looks like there's gonna be a counterattack. All right, so if there's gonna be a counterattack, I, I suppose I gotta man the AT guns. At the very least. Right, so let's get this thing here, maybe. Come on, just drive here. If these guys don't look like they are in, in good positions, so we have to kind of advance so we can get a more clear shot. Okay, switch to no, switch to AP, you fucking retards. All right, just in time. Truck, truck, destroy that too. Okay, so we have two. We have two different AT guns, and we have to use them, command them, almost simultaneously. Okay, move out that infantry guy over there so he can... God damn. You gotta cover the AT crews. Yeah, I'm just... My team is uh, spread out way too thin. I just don't have enough guys. If this would have been, uh, you know, um, Tactics mode, or how do you call it? Tactical difficulty? I think I would have been done for. My guys would have been toast by now. It's just that, you know, we're playing on arcade and this is much more forgivable. Maybe deploy this in these, I guess, burned out bushes. But there's more infantry still. Still alive. I guess they're running away. All right, more coming though. Let's greet him. Yeah, that was a proper greeting. Right, I think this has to be destroyed with AP rounds, not HE, so... No, 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 guys, come on, what the fuck? They keep switching to HE for some reason, right, in this game.
Okay, that tank is coming straight at us, but... I think we have the advantage of... You know, of proper terrain. Alright, how much shots is that thing gonna take? Okay, I just lost, I think, one of my guns. Or at least the guys on the guns, I don't know. Like I've said, good thing this is, you know... Holy shit! Alright, no, 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 switch to AP. Come on, man. Oh, fuck. That's it for that AT crew, I think. They might be even dead, I don't know. All right, they were they were, they were true heroes. They they just kept shooting till the very end, and they took out that panther. I th only infantry remains. Now. All right, switch back to the submachine gun. Yeah, I lost a good deal of people, but we repelled the attack. Can, can I man that gun? The main attack is starting. Let's support our troops with a flank assault. Too bad I couldn't kill anybody from the retreating people. Only this guy got shot, but I don't know. He was so far away from the rest of the German forces, so I don't know what he was doing here. Okay, so we have... How many people do we have remaining? We have like... We have like four people remaining. And we have the... This useless vehicle. You know what? I'm gonna take these guys, and I'm gonna tell them to leave... Um, the what's it called the BA-11 fuck that vehicle it's completely and utterly useless all right so this way we have a full squad um we have to support the attack with the flank strike and dislodge Germans from their positions I guess the attack is gonna be from this direction and we're gonna be attacking from the flank so I think what we should do we probably should take our AT guns Okay, where's my squad? Okay, tank guys, tank men. Man these AT guns. You two. Man this. I think two guns should be enough. I don't know if we need that Soviet one over here. Whether it's a good idea to take it or not. What's in these boxes? Let's see. Just like bandages okay so let's move out we're gonna move out these uh, AT guns right near the German positions this is what we need to do absolutely we're gonna have some infantry guys for you know so they're gonna provide cover they're gonna provide cover they're gonna provide assistance to our AT gun crews but um The attack has already begun. We have those T-34s moving in. These are probably gonna get wrecked. The first tanks and the first infantrymen are gonna get slaughtered. My guns are taking forever to... to redeploy, but you know... There is quite some distance. And these guns don't seem that light. They're quite heavy. Oh, shit! Yeah, this is bad. This is pretty bad. They even have Nebel Warfers. It, I think one Nebel Warfer got fucked up, though. But there's one more over here. Okay, let's see if I can take out that Panzer. Yes, I can. All right. Excellent. So, I don't know if I can reach the Nebel Warfer from here. I should be able to, right? Oh, they're already firing. Fucking trees are in the way. Ooh, that, that shot could have gotten them. Same with that one. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's take a commando. Let's take a commando guy. This is a, a bloody, bloody battle we have here, but uh, 
So far, I'm not providing much assistance at all. Okay, how hard is it? Is it so hard to fucking destroy a Neville Warfer with an AT grenade? I think I destroyed it. Okay, so I'm not providing much assistance, like I'm repeating myself at all, but I just don't really have a good shot from here. Okay, let's kill all of these guys methodically, slowly, just. Gonna use that ammo generously. Why can't I get a fucking clear shot on this thing? I don't get it. It, yeah, it should be. Come on. I don't know if there's any crew left. Apparently, there's nobody left. Okay, let's take the infantry squad. Let's move out. This guy can't even bandage himself, because he doesn't have no band-aids. Because he doesn't have any bandages. Okay, I guess we can advance, right? Let's advance with the AT crews over here. Okay, reload that stationary machine gun which you're wielding like a true hero of the Soviet Union. Alright, so the German defenses are folding. Is this thing still technically, like, operational? I do wonder. I don't think it is. This thing just looks completely wrecked. We could have used it, I think, and fired on their positions. That would have been faster, but... That's fine. We're, we're still gonna... We're still gonna finish this regardless. It's time to clear the trenches Rambo style. Is that a last Neville Warper they have here somewhere? Get back in the trench, you fire at the tank. I think it took it out. They just have the some artillery left on the hill, and that's about it. Bye bye. Gun crew. And that's it. Mission completed. We smoked captured tobacco with a tank So they did smoke that tobacco, I'm glad. So now we've got a new agreement. We'll give a concert once we're in Berlin. We'll get a grand piano. They must have one of And we'll show them how to sing right in the middle of their main Nazi square. Let the crowd see the Russians aren't just accordion masters. Alright, so we lost a good deal of allies. We actually lost 50 people. I guess, obviously, most of these were from the, you know, AI. But still, regardless, we lost a lot of guys. But the Germans have lost more. They lost 133 soldiers and 11 vehicles. So, this mission was kind of a weird one because, like... How should I properly describe my thought? Like, at first, you have, you have to fend off from an ambush. Which was not even a really significant ambush, you know? They just sent, like, a couple of lightly armored units, like, half-tracks to attack us. We had a retarded BA-11 on our side, which didn't provide much support at all. Then we had to capture those AT guns. Then we had to repel the German tank attack. That one was actually pretty tough. 
and then we had to just, you know, support the AI. The last portion of the mission wasn't even, you know, it wasn't hard at all, but um, I don't even think I was much help to the AI. I was just kind of, you know, stalling for a while. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this specific episode, hit the like button like always. If you did not like it, just hit the dislike button. In the next episode, we're gonna be playing this level called uh, Newhagen or Noonhagen. Um, and um, yeah, guys, if you want to support me, subscribe to my channel. If I haven't already said that, I'm saying it either again or for the first time during this episode. I will see you soon. Until then, take care and stay safe.